Agfa Graphics are continually investing in research and development in prepress so that our customers, printing businesses of every kind, can stay ahead of their competition. Today, Agfa Graphics offers the widest range of innovative prepress solutions to save time, increase efficiency, streamline workflow, and grow business. The key element for any offset printing business is the printing plate, and most printing plate types use aluminium for a base. The advantage of using aluminium for a printing plate is that it guarantees an absolute dimensional stability on the printing press. Aluminium is very strong, which enables print runs of over a million copies to be made. Only the finest aluminium is ever used for Agfa Graphics printing plates. If you know that 60% of the price of a printing plate is the cost of the aluminium, you will understand that the top grade aluminium that Agfa Graphics uses passes the most stringent of quality qualification procedures. In a moment, we will show you the production process all the way from raw ore to the finished printing plate. Amazingly, this whole production process takes up to six months or even more. In this process, we can identify three separate phases of production. The first stage is where the bauxite is converted to aluminium. In the second phase, we will show how the raw blocks of aluminium are transformed into rolls. And lastly, we will show how these rolls are transformed into the high-tech printing plates which produce the kind of print work we are used to seeing in our everyday lives. First things first, so let's start with the raw ore which is called bauxite. This is mined mainly in locations around the equator and it is in this bauxite that aluminium is found. We cannot emphasize enough that Agfa Graphics works only with the finest grade of aluminium to ensure maximum performances on the printing press at all times. Quality control is of the utmost importance at every step of the process. During the refining process, any impurities are dissolved from the raw bauxite. Then everything is washed and filtered, after which we end up with a white powder called alumina oxide. Typically, you need two tons of bauxite to produce one ton of alumina. The alumina oxide is transported to, in this case, Germany, where it is smelted at about 700 degrees Celsius in huge cast iron vats, from which the aluminium is extracted via an electrolysis process. The molten aluminium, which is siphoned off, is now basically aluminium in its purest form. Being liquid and at 700 degrees Celsius, it can be poured into any shape. In this case, it is tapped into huge ingots of 9 meters long, weighing 30 tons and more. These ingots will then be further shaped, depending on the industry they are intended for. For use in the graphic arts or the printing industry, these large ingots are then transported from their tapping station to be scalped and sawn into 10-ton blocks of aluminium. We will now see how these raw blocks of aluminium are transformed into rolls. At 500 degrees Celsius, the ingots are preheated to prepare them for hot rolling. This process ensures that both the inside and outside temperatures of the ingots are equal, which is necessary for these massive blocks of aluminium to be trimmed down in the hot rolling section. The preheated ingots are then rolled into the massive hot rolling section to reduce their thickness for further handling in the cold section later on. The 10-ton ingots are rolled to a depth of about 4 millimetres and measure an astonishing 2.4 kilometres long. Finally, the 4 millimetre thick ingots are rolled onto a coil for further handling. Every single coil gets an individual code. The coils are then left to cool down for later transport to the cold rolling section. 
This is where the aluminium is further reduced to the required thickness. This thickness will differ depending on its final use. For the printing plate industry, this will usually be between 0.15 and 0.3 millimetres. The final coils are then shipped to Agfagraphics coating plants all over the world. These aluminium coils will now serve as the backbone of the actual printing plate. You will now see how these rolls will be coated and shaped into high-tech printing plates. In this case, we are visiting Agfa's Wiesbaden plant in Germany, where we can see an array of coils of different thicknesses in the vast warehouse. This stage of the production process is where an aluminium coil is finally transformed into an offset printing plate. Plates are manufactured in a continuous process with all intermediate steps in line, which is why a complete plate production line is over 200 meters long. As the name implies, the unwinder section of the process is where the sheet aluminium is unwound from the coil. The first stage of the coating line is wet and is where the aluminium is etched to clean the surface. The graining process follows. At this stage, the surface is roughened via an electrochemical treatment. Graining is necessary to ensure the perfect lithographic behavior of the printing plate. The coating process is fully computerized to ensure all parameters are thoroughly monitored and controlled. Eventually, we arrive at the actual coating section of the production line where a light or thermal sensitive coating is applied to the aluminium. It is this layer that will form the final to be printed image or text. Before cutting to size, the quality of the coated products must be checked by a CCD or laser inspection system. Every single square nanometer of aluminium that leaves our factories is checked and non-standard plates are automatically identified and sorted out. A visual inspection is done and lithographical checks are also carried out to ensure that Agfa Graphics customers only work with top quality printing plates. After thorough inspection, the coated aluminium is trimmed and cut to the required size in the inline converting hall. The final sized plates are covered with a protective sheet to prevent them from damaging each other in transit. Again, at this stage of the plate production process, another final check is done. Nothing is left to chance. Everything is left to expertise. All printing plates leaving the factory are wrapped in impermeable paper and packed in light-tight, recyclable boxes, ready for shipping to another happy customer. You have seen in this short film that manufacturing the perfect printing plate requires passion dedication, precision, and total quality control. They are all engineered by Agfa Graphics to the highest standards in order to deliver the best possible print results that graphic arts businesses need to stay ahead.